To play back a video downloaded from your DVR or NVR on a Mac computer, you need to first download SmartPlayer. I have a Google short link here that I have pasted into Safari and I'm going to hit enter and it will navigate over to this page to download. Give it a few seconds and it will save the file to your downloads folder and this thing hopping up and down tells you it's been downloaded. I'm going to go open up a new finder window and go to my downloads folder. So once you've downloaded Smart Player, double click on here and it will load the player window. Enlarge it. Hit this folder icon to navigate towards your USB drive containing your security footage. And in this case, I'm going to choose this video file. It will automatically scan other files within the same directory and allow you to play them back. And you can use this graphical interface to actually zoom into the timeline and choose certain points in the timeline that you'd like to play back. Uh, traditionally it's asynchronous play but by using this sync play button you can sync the playback between two cameras or more. You can pause the video and you can even play back more channels if you have up to 36. There are several different view options available here. In this case I'll be looking at the four channel window, playback my two cameras. You can use the digital zoom window to zoom in while video is playing back. Pan hand lets you pan around. You can increase the playback speed. You can also slow down the video. When you get to a certain point in the timeline that you'd like to slow down the video at, here I've put it down to 1 over 4x. And you can also use the zoom window to zoom in. Double click to still be able to see in a quadrant view. And you can do that all while having multiple channels if you have. So the graphical capabilities of uh, the software all depend on also the graphical capabilities of the CPU of the Mac. It does take quite a bit of resources to be able to do these kind of tricks with your Mac. And once you double click, it will actually focus on one timeline. And you can then use that to go back and forth. And I'm actually doing this at my chosen playback speed. I can also do really fast playback at 64x or go down really slow all the way to 1 over 64x. And this is pretty much uh, less than frame by frame. It's uh, even slower than that. So one frame will stick around for a while. Double click to zoom out. Right click. And you can change back to the four quadrant view here. If you had audio cameras, you can toggle that with here. And uh, there's also the ability to convert a file. I'm going to stop the files, playback, and go to convert file or export file. And this allows you to choose a certain channel and then export it. You can set a certain point in time on the timeline of recorded video that you have that you would like to fine tune and export. And you can save it as an AVI for video and then hit begin export. Now the directory it'll save it in depends on the directories here specified under config. So this is going to be under users, then your name, and then pictures and movies. So I'm going to go back to export file, hit begin export. It's asking me where do I want to save the file. I'll create and since this is an NTFS partition, I'm going to save it into my downloads folder. I'll create a new folder in there, I'll call it export, and I'll save it in there. It says export end, it means export finished. I'll go back here, go to export, and here's my file. I can double click and play it back using QuickTime. But QuickTime actually is not the best player for AVIs because AVI is not a native format for Mac, I'm going to double click and open with VLC. Now, VLC is a desired player for all types of media files on either Mac or Windows. And here you go. My file is playing back.
So this player tool allows you to be able to play back within it and even export video for giving it to law enforcement. We hope you found this video useful. Thanks for watching.